Average YouTube, it's your girl Asia. And it's your boy BJ, and, and we, we back, back like we, we never left. left. Shout out to y'all in the building. And y'all already know what time it is. It's movie night. It's movie night. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's movie night tonight <laughs> for sure, and and I hope I hope we got a really good movie up too. You know what I mean? I really hope this is gonna be a really good movie. You guys see it? You guys hit the thumbnail, so you already know. Uh, tonight we're checking out Aaron Brockovich. Yep. Uh, this was also a movie that's been suggested to us, and um, hey, I'm ready to watch it. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it's a drama, if it's a comedy, or anything like that. No. She somebody just said it's Julie Roberts. Oh. The lady. Okay. Pretty woman lady. Yeah. Pretty woman actor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited then. You said that. <laughs> She's so pretty to me. I'm just saying. She's a pretty woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh but yeah, man, we just appreciate everybody for tuning in. You already know it's always a pleasure mm -hmm. when we all get together. Definitely. And hey. Let's get into it. You ready? Yeah. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited and uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon posts, and access to all of our TV series as well. Yes, ma'am. All over on Patreon. So make sure y'all tap in. Uh, but all of that, say it. Oh, we got to give a shout out to our VIP Patreon. Bay. how you forget? Okay. I said one of our loyal supporters, but yeah, actually <laughs> it is. It's one of our VIP supporters. Shout out to that Ross. That suggested this one for sure. Yeah, so, we got to yes. give a big shout out. So yes, thank you so much for supporting shout us. Shout out to Ross. Channel. You're yeah. the man. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Okay, you ready? I think so. Okay. I think I am. I am. I got my water on deck. I put the I put the fruit up. I didn't want to eat any of that right now. You didn't want to? No. For some reason, I'm just, for some reason tonight, I'm just in the mood for like a double scoop of mocha ice cream for some reason. What? I'm just in the mood for like some chocolate mocha ice cream. Man, that was so random. It was random. I was just looking at you for a second. I was like, you look mocha and chocolate for some reason. I, I want some ice cream. I'm just tan. I want some ice cream. <laughs> just Mocha tan. chocolate. Mocha chocolate. See, see <laughs> I need you to focus. I'm locked in and focused 2020 all day. You need to be on the right track. Okay, I'm on the right track. Okay. I'm on the right track. Okay. Yeah. You trust me, I'm on the right track. I'm, I'm, I'm going in the right direction. Aaron Brockovich sounds like a <laughs> like an honest name, okay? <laughs> you can't be talking about some mocha chocolate before we watch Aaron. Mocha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you never know. It could be a family movie. Aaron, Aaron. This might be a family movie. It sounds like Aaron Brockovich <laughs> is somebody that I used to hall monitor with. Yeah, probably so. Okay, see, that's why you it has a t it has like that Brockovich has like Mrs. Brockovich. She was definitely like, she was definitely in band. I'm gonna tell you that now. She sounds like a social studies teacher. <laughs> no, she the one. <laughs> no, Brockovich. That's definitely the one that sent you to detention all the time. Yeah. Never she, mind. Nah, she didn't hall monitor the, with the me. The one, the one that's gonna kick you out of class. <laughs> Just said, BJ doing the most. It was, it was no, his fault. You the, the one talking about all this extra stuff. I just had a, a, all I was saying is I was just in the mood for ice cream. Okay. Ice ice cream and a movie. I can't knock that. <laughs> ice cream sounds good right now. Not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, all right, y'all. Here we go. You'd have to observe me to know for sure, B. Oh, sister, look at that hair. Work out. Uh huh. <laughs> he he started blinking. I, I'm okay. A really nice office. <laughs> Is this like an interview? Gotta be. It gotta be an interview. <laughs> she she failed. Oh, don't you just hate that that part of the interview? Oh, well, at least he didn't ask her if she had to go to work today. <laughs> it didn't go well. If she she outside smoking a square. Right? No, it didn't. It didn't go well. Don't you just hate that part of the interview when they just let you down? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and she got a ticket. Oh, that just make it even worse. That happened to me downtown a couple of times. Getting a parking ticket while you getting an interview. Look, her, her, oh man. She didn't get the job. She got a parking ticket and she broke her nail. Strike three, you're out. Oh, sh oh. shoot. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, that, this was a horrible day. Dang. Oh, dang, look. I was about what? to say, is she all right? Oh, she has some on her neck. Erin Brockovich, car accident, not her fault, she says. Oh, well, it should be open and shut case. She, she, uh, she the one that got hit. Yeah. 
I just want to take good care of my kids, you know? Yeah. It sounds like a good story. Heck yeah. There's more than one? Yeah, there's two. Why? What they got to do to do anything? Three kids, no job. A doctor and a Jaguar must have looked like a pretty good meal ticket. Oh! oh. $74 in the bank. I can't afford to settle down. Wow. How's she lose? Do they teach lawyers to apologize? Because you suck at it. <laughs> How did she lose that? I don't know. He hit her. She didn't run the light. He ran the light. I don't get it. How would you lose that if somebody obviously hit you? It's, in, it's, it's in like it's going from bad to worse. Yeah. She said she has $74 in her account. Right. She obviously doesn't have a lot of money. Hey, get in the house. No dripping. Okay. <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the little baby doesn't get sick. <laughs> Is the baby getting a fever? Look at her eating fruit. Mm. And they went to eat. Yeah, she didn't even have any money for herself to eat. So she was looking for a job is what she was doing. Yeah, when she was at the interview when she got hit. Yeah. Hey, what, what's she doing here? She works here. Mm -hmm. What? Who hired her? Right. Because he's looking like, why is she here? I thought she I thought, was working there. Yeah, I thought she was the client. Commit someone to give you a job that pays worth a damn. Are you getting every word of this down, honey, or am I talking too fast? <laughs> Look. I'm hardworking and I'll do anything and I'm not leaving here without a job. Hmm. Yeah. I think he should give her a job. Especially since, since she didn't win her case. <laughs> and here's where we organize all the files alphabetically. Did she read the dress code policy? She kind of spicy. I've only got uh, hundreds. <laughs> That's all he got. Have a good way, Kat. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang. Don't you wish you could just walk in, walk into somewhere and get a job like that and get employed? Yeah, I feel bad for her. She did that though. <clears throat> Shoot, she went in there and got her a job. Yeah. But but I, you know. Thanks a lot. Hmm. And she looked like they. She glad they leave. Right. They oh. leave it. She kind of looked like she was on some. Right. You can tell that she desperate too, cause she told him she was like, "Please don't make me beg for this job." Yeah, right, baby. Oh, so you know how it is when you got babies and kids. Right. Phew. And with all the numbers I gave you, I'm guessing zero is the number of times you're gonna call it. Oh. Dead wrong about that zero thing, baby. Uh, man, she got some attitude, don't she? Spicy. Yes. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> That's what you call falling flat on your face. <laughs> And as long as I have one ass instead of two, I'll wear what I like if that's all right with you. Uh, <laughs> I think the other ladies might be intimidated. I noticed it. He noticed what I noticed. <laughs> yeah, she just looked better than anybody else in the office. Probably. If you don't know how to do your job by now, I am not about to do it for you. Uh-uh. Girl, you, you about to help me? And, and she's not getting no help. Let's <laughs> shoot. The lady didn't answer the door. Yeah. Uh-uh. She's supposed to have her kids. Yeah, she came by about an hour ago and said something came up and she had to drop the kids off. Something came What? Mom, what do you think about me getting a tattoo? What? Lady, she just dropped the kids off with the next door neighbor. That's wow. crazy. And he just <clears throat> happened to be there. Thank God. I don't even know you. Well, what do you want to know? Ask me. I'm not leaving my kids. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's still a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I do. I like hanging out with them. You know, they keep it simple. No, babe. He too dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can always send him back to the chicken fat lady. Uh, right. <clears throat> oh. oh, no. <laughs> that just sounds too good. <laughs> no, that's good, because I didn't find you attractive either. Whoa. Nice comeback. I don't know. Maybe she. I think she found her found her babysitter. Offer to purchase real estate, Pacific Gas. I couldn't see what that was. An electric. Wait, that's PG and E. Yeah. 
increase l- lymphocytes. Increase lymphocytes. Lympho, like lip nodes, something. Mm-hmm. Standing when I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, sure. You don't mind? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, like, okay, go. You can go. <laughs> Dang. I want an important phone call. <laughs> okay. Please. And I was, and obviously, when they say pro bono, it means like you don't Free. get paid for nothing, right. right? Funny, they just took care of it, just like that. What? Wait, PG and E. She said that they are paying the medical bills. She's like, why would you go through them? When they take care of it, I guess. But they're also the same ones that offered her to buy the house. Okay, I guess I'm not following you. Why would they, like, offer that, though? Criminating records have a way of disappearing when people smell trouble. So, chromium. She said, was the chromium in the water or the... She's saying in the pistons, like, as far as, like, the electric company or whatever, they use it to make sure, I guess, the machines don't rust out. Yeah, but the lady said that she had been sick, too, but I'm saying she said because of the chromium. Remember, she asked, she's like, but why? But why are they pay to offer to pay and she said because of the chromium but she lived right next to the look like she's right next to the plant though right but he said the water board that's why i was like is it in the water if i just squeezed back there and poked around myself would that be all right? <laughs> squeeze and poke, poke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just yeah, she got the smile the eyes right cheekbones See, look, it says right there, hex, hexavalent chromium. Hexavalent chromium. Oh, he just said something about caused the pollution, polluted groundwater. Polluted groundwater like you. So it was in the water. Contamination extends sampling program one mile north. What's up with that, though? Because if it's in the water, like. And she right next to it. You asked Mr. Masary. He fired you. Oh, she said he the one that fired you. Seconds? Yes, it's called accountability. I'm not talking to you, bitch! Oh! <laughs> yourself feel less guilty about firing someone with three kids to feed. Well, fuck if I'm gonna help you do that. Damn. That's how you make boy, it. Boy, she boy. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> but when she get heated, she get heated. Wait a minute. But what about... You gotta have the job. I feel like she's had a really hard time. Especially with men. Okay, I was wrong. He's a really nice guy. Oh, Don't no. Don't be too nice to me, okay? <laughs> See? <laughs> Makes me nervous. Right? I'm nervous for her right now. I said he was too dreamy, but maybe he's he's what she needs. She don't need another guy that she got to survive. She right. just said it. But then again, he is next door. So it's like if they break up, it's like he is right next door. <laughs> what is all this? Uh, this uh, is the story on this. This cancer. No, no, no. <laughs> Not telling you. No. And how good it is for you when all the time they're using chromium sick. Wow. I want a raise and benefits, <laughs> including dental. Friendly extortion. Do business. What way is that? Extortion. <laughs> 10% raise in benefits. But that said, I'm drawing the line. I wish I could just tell my, my employer, right? I need 10%? Wow. And benefits. And get it. <laughs> Including dental. <laughs> They're called boobs, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Those can work. Those can help. Well, that's what got her back there in the first place. Yeah, because she leaned over on the counter and everything. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> well, it's poisonous. Yeah. Look at the look on her face. But PG and E paid for that doctor. Whoa. So they paid for the doctor too? Okay. The house, medical medical expenses. Oh, and the kids in the pool. Oh gosh. I said so, that's why. But not just that thing about like like Erin, she got kids too, so Yeah, okay. Okay, he don't look like he want to talk. Hmm? By the way, he slouched in that chair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chromium, they have had. Look how she looking. Mm-hmm. I, I thought we were negotiating here. 
Sounds like an ultimatum. Wow! 28 billion. <laughs> 28 billion. That probably was the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you back. <laughs> Aaron don't take no mess <laughs> at all. You diss it, she gonna dish it back, man. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars ain't a lot for a twenty-eight billion dollar company. That's right. chump you, change. Yeah, you're right. But seem like they got something going. I mean, they ruffle some. They ruffling feathers. Any problems? He probably mad at her because she hadn't been there. Hmm. Morton thinks that I got a deal. Fine. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want mommy to be good at her job? Hmm? You know the saying goes, children just don't understand. You were reading the whole time. That'd be the thing with kids, too. They, they pay attention now. Right. Even when you don't think they paying attention, they paying attention. <laughs> and she kind of used to like being at home to, you know, being with them a little bit more. You got a pen, honey? Yeah, sure. I'm signing that. <laughs> sure, it's a chance I, I'm willing to take. 60% is what I get. <laughs> No, I, I might have negotiated to 30. Duh. <laughs> so, basically, so, so basically, he just gets 40% of what everybody gets. I got mm -hmm. you. I got you. Each family. Oh, well, we know what it is. Then it's gastro gastrointestinal cancer. cancer. Wow. Gastro. So everybody seems to be sick. Yeah. Everybody that she's talking to. Yeah, because this is what, like the community right around? The one mile north. Anything to get what you want. She do got a sign on the door, no soliciting. Right. Yeah, get her out of her life down here. Wow. It's people that are really sick. Mm. They're really sick. That's the reason why they probably wanted to buy those people out those houses and 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 get up all like all the Try land to like pay and, and pay for like the big medical bills. Pay and them kinda... out and yeah, we offer to take you to the hospital, of course, and go to our doctor. Squirrel. Oh, bite my ass, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> She said Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I feel you looking at me. Man, she got them comebacks. <laughs> she like, hey, yeah, I'm looking. Don't look at her the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me of that when I'm filing for bankruptcy. Uh, Shoot. I was wondering how uh, much money. I'll probably be needing one of those um, cell phones of my own. Uh, I don't believe this. <laughs> you had to sneak that in there. I was wondering. While we're talking like, about money. How much it was going to cost him to do that. Because I'm like, that's going to cost him a lot of money. And that's a big company. Yeah. Obviously a billion dollar company. Yeah. Having to go I, get all I, this I information. Yeah. And stuff, toxicology reports. Talking to doctors. Uh. <laughs> Could you do that? No. No. Oh. Don't tell me you couldn't do that. Not that. Oh. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, she really out there. Yeah. She out there in them streets getting that information. Okay. Erin is the real MVP. She's doing what she got. Oh, look where she at, though. Oh, oh, look. Oh. look. <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't want her. You know they don't want nobody on their land. Yeah, who's this? You should watch your step. Uh-oh. Be like yourself. The three young children really should think again. Uh-oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I quit. That's it. She might be getting in too deep a little bit. Like I said, snooping around the waterboard. Somebody been watching her. Please, Aaron, I know what these kids can sleep through. I probably knew better than you. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> he threw it back at her like. Oh, I don't want to joke. Uh oh, somebody following her watch. She started talking. Somebody is behind her. She's pulling her little thing Oh, she missed it. It was great. It was intense. Oh, poor mommy. Uh -oh. You missed that moment. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. She had to give that up. I'm a lawyer involved in the case. I thought you might like to read these. You think something's gonna happen to her? Something bad? I don't know. Hey, kids. Okay. Um, well, I'm a little busy here. Who is he? That's that seemed to look, yeah. Right, right when I asked that question. He got shades on and everything, like he trying not to be seen. Let's go, brother. Get on. 
<laughs> they probably been at this for like a whole year at this point. Mm -hmm. If it's been nine months. Right. Hang on tight there. Who was that guy? I don't know. I feel like I feel like the guy that had the shades on. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what? That's enough to make him mad. <laughs> Think about what he could be doing. So what do we do now? They can't quit. We gotta go after corporate. What this one judge decides. Basically, yeah. Mm, I don't like that. Man, I'm telling you right now, the stakes are high. Too high. Leaving it all up to like one judge. Not only that, he's spent so much money, like, and they yeah. don't spend so much time. Yeah, at this point, it's probably been, what, about at least a year. Mm-hmm. What was that? Just maybe somebody that lives close, yeah, somebody that lives close to PG&E. <sighs> Is that her husband? I, I thought, I know we saw him. You gotta promise me that we're gonna get them. Oh, man. Dang, her uterus. And her breast. And a mastectomy. Because she said she was used to, to it coming by nine, so she actually got cancer now. Mm-hmm sent these residents pamphlets telling them that it was good for them. Oh. Whoa. Tell your clients they're going to trial. Oh, how much money are we going to get? 40%. So this is just the beginning right now, right? $28 billion. <laughs> wow. He, so he denied them. Let the games begin. Show them into the conference room. What's your phrase? Get they what? <laughs> <laughs> get they ass, sea bass. <laughs> Counselors. Oh, oh, look. What? He got them to go in there with him. Oh, look like they. <laughs> to buffer it a little bit. A hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. Mm. By the way, we Woo! have that water brought in special for you folks. Uh, well in Hinkley. Look, we brought that water in from a well in Hinkley. <laughs> drink up. Take a sip. Look, shoot, I ain't gonna drink that water. <laughs> Aaron ain't playing no she did that. game. No, she did that. She did that. Oh, look at that. She, she did that. Stop around a little bit. She got the eye of a tiger right now. $28 million out of four. Like, I was thinking, I'm like. 400 something people. Probably that's more not than enough. that. Yeah. Oh, we need about two billion of that twenty-eight that you got. At least two point five billion. Let me get two point five. One day they'll understand that. Well, what about me? What about you? Oh no, that was the wrong thing. That was <laughs> definitely the wrong thing. The motorcycles. I told you, he's standing there holding babies. Please, <laughs> you can afford daycare. You don't need me. Oh. <laughs> He threw it back. Basically, he feel like he just a daycare. George, right. Yeah, I feel that. She I, hadn't done anything for him or said anything nice to him or she's just been so caught up in that. But obviously it's for a really good reason and a great cause. Right. Like, Yeah, he just don't see it right now. He trying to get on that Harley and play that song. What's that song? Uh, against the wind. I'm still running against the wind. That's what he want to go do. Mm. Like now she's bringing them. She got to do whatever she got to do, right? I don't want to feel it all over again and then not have it come out right. Was she the one that slammed the door? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, baby, I'll just be a second. Now she got the whole, the whole load on her shoulders now. Yeah. You know they bored. Uh, oh, man. He's got more toxic tort experience than anyone in the state. This is good news. Yeah, he want to get in now. <laughs> She like straight as an arrow, right? I'd, Just... be, I'd be mad too. <laughs> At least talk to me about it. I, we did this. Yeah. It's a dollar. It's $5,000. $5,000? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Hire a nanny, look outside it. Look at his right. Oh, I thought that was the car he pulled up in. No way. Oh, she got car keys. And it got an alarm on it. Oh, that's a blazer, too. 
I want that too. It's our lucky day. Damn. Shoot, Ed Mazzy. Wow. Ed, Ed Mazzy. <laughs> That made my eyes water. Wow. I got goosebumps. Because think about all, everything that she's done at this point. Yeah. You know, like, man. Anywhere between 50 and 400 million. 400. Kurt thinks it's the best way to go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't say the wrong thing. Their number is 454-9554. You want their diseases? No. No. That... You know, I'll just ask. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet and fucking ugly shoes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. To law school. Law school? At this point, I'd settle for charm school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Erin exactly the way she is. She a shark. Yes, yeah, she is. She a tiger. She is a beast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she look a mess. She been sick. Can I take a brief break here for a moment? Yeah, you might need to. She gonna blow a gasket. To the press, she called us thieves. They're all listening to it. The whole thing is about to fall apart. What? No. <coughs> <coughs> oh man, I hope she not getting sick too. Hmm. She's probably just been working a lot. Yeah, I don't, it, it, like, like, like she was saying a minute ago, I don't want this whole thing to fall apart. Yeah. They all got to still just come together. They so close. Between 50 and 400 million dollars. Yeah, well, well, wait, there's a big difference. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a big gap. No, it's, it's falling apart. Dang. Hey, <laughs> he came back. He pulled back up. Huh. That's a good guy. I, 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 I didn't. I, I why, didn't. Why I didn't have a lot. Why keep him at a hotel? Because she's she's not close to home. Oh, oh. She's trying to right, go right, door. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. she and Hinkley. Because they're going door to door to get the signatures. Yeah, they need like hundred and fifty people. Like I said, I didn't really like have a lot of faith in him because he was a a biker. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and he had no kids. But I yeah, didn't either. Yeah, George is all right with me. Yeah, he is. Good guy. Look, even he's sitting there reading it. Mm. Well, I'm glad that he did read it because at least now he can understand that his mom is doing something good. Yeah. Oh, she's the one that wrote the letter. Mm hmm The newsletter that kind of got everybody in an uproar. This thing not. I know. Oh, there's that guy again. Yeah, he was the one that he was the one that, that was at the other function. Yeah. There's something about her. I really like that girl. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> Matt, can I get that coffee to go? Yeah, I can get the coffee <laughs> to go. Why are you asking for my phone number and everything? Like you're the type of person I could say anything to. <laughs> he gotta go, man. If I told you that when I worked at the Hinkley plant, I destroyed documents. Uh oh! Oh, let me sit. Wait, wait, wait! I need to drink this coffee right here, right here. You got, you got some cream and sugar. Quick, sir. I'm just gonna run to the. She not, she not leaving, is she? I don't know, Charles. Because she so ran. <laughs> Why he gotta say all that creepy stuff though? You the type of person I can say anything to. Fucking piece of crap with no signal. Fuck. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Uh oh. We, I think we all have one of them kind of cell phones. Uh oh. This Charles Embry guy, oh, he tells oh. me, Charles Embry. First I thought he was trying to kill me, but then I just thought he was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was, so... All right? Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to be gone. Thank God he not. So, like, he could be valuable. Uh-oh, it looked like he got some things on his mind. He took his hat off. I wasn't a very good employee. Mm. Oh! So... Oh, <laughs> wait. He wasn't a good employee. So he didn't destroy everything? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I got to... Hold on. The matter was not discussed with the neighbors. It's to the Hinkley Station from PG&E headquarters. Oh! Received March 1966. <laughs> 1960s. 
perform sexual favors. 634 blowjobs in five days. <laughs> Look at him. They like, what the heck? <laughs> No way. Look man. how she looking though. That's what they needed. Man. That's exactly what they needed. Wow. Mm. She did it. Oh. Well, come on in. At least she's not sitting on sitting in the bed. Last time we saw her, she was bedridden. And um <laughs> and he's gonna make them give five million of that to your family. Oh, uh, it's the last office down the corridor on the right. Oh, they moved. Oh, look, they done came up. Mm, yeah, it's like a high rise. Anyone know anything about these phones? Oh, they just now moved. <laughs> they came up. Aids and documents and stuff, so if you could just... Look at her office. Look like she got a corner office. That figure was not, uh, appropriate. I get 15%. Now, no matter what I do, you're not... Two million. What Two the? Two million? Are you? Oh my god. Two million dollars. I know. I got to sit down to the settlement awarded to the plaintiffs in this case in Hinckley versus Fiji and E was the largest indirect action lawsuit in the United States history. Damn. No, she look at she looking at the check. Aaron, Aaron and Ed, Ed have had seven other cases pending, including one against PG&E. A plant Cameron in Kettleman Hills. Hills, California. These are the days when everything goes every day. Oh my gosh! Okay. Wow. wow Two million dollars. That was a really good movie. And a very good ending, too. I love the way that they ended, too. The fact that she got <laughs> two million dollars. I feel like I would have to keep looking at it, too. Like, is this really real? Like, like driving down the street and looking at it after everything that you kind of, like, went through in the last few she years. She went through a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the time that she had, especially especially the sacrifice, <laughs> spending all that time away from the kids and everything she missed out on. To go and help these other people, these families. And the crazy part of yeah. it is, is like, even when she asked about it, I was just thinking, okay, like, I hadn't really put it all together until she started doing all the interviews and sitting down with these people. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you have a billion dollar, a multi-billion dollar company that's out there yeah. with poison in the water like that. Mm -hmm. Like, the fact... And, and, and again, this is like based on an actual true story. So, Aaron Brockovich is a real person, obviously. And, and a lot of these people are actually real with the whole Pacific gas and electric. Yeah. Like, I, like I would be very interested, like, to actually, like, kind of, like, look at that and, like, just go, like, actually, like, read up on it to see exactly what it, you know, to get more information about it. Because, like you were saying, with the hexavalent chromium, mm -hmm. like, they were putting that into the water. And then, not just that, they knew that it was bad for the people <clears throat> in Hinkley. And, to, and for Which them to try crazy. to cover it up. Right. And to go to all kind of... Things to try to cover it up and like shred the paperwork and almost like just like you were saying because initially she just came in there to take on a, a real estate case with right. the paperwork she didn't even know that they had anything to do that's why she was like why is there um so medical which, stuff in there yeah, medical records and stuff which is why okay which, <clears throat> that was why all of that was in there to begin with because pg and e was paying for everything like i was saying before they were the Still ones trying to like sweep it under the rug uh, yeah like yeah we'll take care of that just give it to us don't you worry like to me i feel like that's red flags all day long like mm -hmm. and nobody saw it nobody caught it but her i guess you could say yeah, yeah she the one that caught it because she was reading through the, the files like just kind of going through randomly it looks like she was just randomly going through some stuff and, and they, came across that. And they tried to give one of them a settlement for $66,000. Right. <laughs> it, to buy their house at fair market value. So they didn't even want to give them anything more than what the house was actually worth. Mm -hmm. Just let us just buy this house and you just move on and move out. and Move out, move sick and probably die in a few years. Right. Or whatever. Because that's what will potentially happen over mm. time. You know, the yeah. longer you continue to contaminate yourself with it obviously yeah so that's that's insane and for it to be such a big company that's what really trips me out like mm -hmm. with yeah. you have 28 billion dollars like yeah. why not just 
pay to do the right thing and fix it. Because PG and E, that's like us having TXU or something. Yeah, you know, man, that is insane. That's insane. Yes, like just think about the like the magnitude, and then <sighs> them having to pay out th- over three hundred million dollars, and, and not even that. They probably could have got more than that if they took them. Like if it was like a real like. Probably really sued and yeah. like went all, went because the whole way. Had they taken all the time that they probably could have even taken, but that guy, that one guy, the one that was at the bar, oh, was, the creepy guy, the yeah. creepy guy was the one that really tied it all together for them because he had the paperwork. No, to tie to tie Hinkley to the corporate office. You're right. The corporate. So. Yeah, yeah, that's because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what they needed to say that the corporate office knew what Hinkley was actually doing. So they didn't have any proof because you can be running like your own, you know. You got you, you got know, different di- you got different divisions doing something, right. but if you like can't, they doing their own thing. But yeah. it's just like the fact that and and the documentation of all of that since like nineteen sixty. Something. Yeah, like sixty. So that had been going on for a very long time. Like, and you would just think, I just, I just would, I don't know. Like, how can you let something like that go? I mean, I mean, when they see that they how liable they are for something like that. I mean, it, it, as as sinister as it would be for someone to do that, but just to see like the magnitude of what they created because like you said they weren't lying in the ponds they as far as like they were using the hexavalent chromium inside yeah. of the compressors to yeah. and then and then they just flushing it out and then it's just going into the regular water that people are drinking every day right. cooking their food in kids swimming in that's crazy like just all of that stuff and then and then it was in the ground it so it was in the ground it was leaking in the groundwater because yeah. the ponds weren't lying just a major contamination so and then, like you said, so they, how big were these ponds? Like, I'm just curious because like the size of a pond, they had to be big enough to like seep through the soil and all of that to get into the groundwater. Like, just like a pond that you see in the front of our neighborhood, you know. I, I mean, I don't know. And having several of them, and then they're not lining it to keep the contaminants from get you know right. seeping into the soil. But you just have several ponds that you have to use for the water because they use that water to cool stuff down. I guess. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't even know that until they really kind of just yeah. broke it down. That's. And it's, and it's just a big power plant, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess it would just be hard for them to stop the resources of like what all they're doing. Right. To make to, that happen. For the people. They're going to lose a lot of money, right. obviously, to, to stop what they're to doing. To stop what to they're fix doing that. and to fix it. And, and then as far as the effect, the biggest thing is the effect that they had on the people that were like, in the direct vicinity, like a right. mile radius of there, like that, like just thinking about that and everything that Erin did and everything she went through, like showing how the how the movie started and her going through what she had, what she went through. The main thing is that she wasn't even a lawyer; she didn't even have a degree right. to That's be crazy, a lawyer. Right? Yeah, like just think about like the hard work that it took to do that. That's why I said she said eighteen months when she was talking about like how long she had been working on that. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you got to think about like how much time you saw her sitting there until nighttime and wow. sitting there falling asleep and falling over and barely you know stumbling in through the house at nighttime because yeah, she's yeah. been spending countless hours for that long weeks, months, years. Right yeah. to to make all of that happen. But that's the as they started building onto this, I'm like, man, that's going to take a lot of money depending on like how many people, especially if it's a pro bono case. Yeah, that's right. all I was thinking about. I'm like, how the are money gonna get that the they going to get the money? They had to spend to just keep it going right. over that period of time. Yeah. You know, from spending it out of, like he said, out of his own pocket, the loans, and then having to get another mortgage on his house. Having and to get another law firm to come in and try to take over the expenses. Right. And to be able to actually get it done and get it accomplished, man. Kudos to Aaron Brockovich and company because, man, I, I teared up towards the end. Like, Me too. Like, just thinking about the families and what they had to go through. Like, right. Like, that's just, that, that it's just, it, it's just mind-boggling thinking about what those people of Hinkley had to go through. And it wasn't nothing, I just live here. It, it, it's not my fault. Right. Like, it's just crazy. To, and then they were lied to. Like, okay. Like, they had somebody, yeah, yeah. I got, I got to go back. We got to go and, and like actually like go online and like actually like 
look up this case and I would like to just read it. The and, fact and that they handed them out it. pamphlets like here it's good for you. And they That's, said they said the chromium three was, was good, good for, them. for you. Yeah, when and they had chromium, chromium six. six. Yeah. yeah, man. Wow, this is I That's wasn't dirty expecting and that. disgusting, yo, man. I was not expecting to see this kind of movie. Like watching this, this was actually really good. Here we are making jokes about the detention teacher. Okay, Aaron Brockovich is. The yeah, she but she she way beyond that. Don't I take all that back? She, a she shark. watched it right. I'm not. I'm not playing with her. Okay, right. I'm not gonna say the wrong thing either. Yeah, she a tiger. She, <laughs> she a tiger. I like how I like how Julie Roberts played her part. Like I said, she like, killed like, it. Like I would have to look and maybe that they got some interviews with the real Aaron Brockovich, but yeah. Julia Roberts like killed this role. Like I like I'm ready to call her Aaron Brockovich. I like I, I forgot that she was acting like because this because obviously it's a true story, but it was just so believable her character how she played it and showing like single mother still trying to juggle all these things and actually get it done and get it accomplished. But you see like the type of characteristic that she has, like that personality that she had to play, she really for real didn't play. Yeah. You know, like she she was about about words. Like I'm yeah. I'm gonna get it done and I'm I'm gonna make it happen. Like she and she really was smart, smarter than she probably gave herself credit for. Absolutely, with her mouth, her mind, her memory, and memorizing all the stuff that she could memorize yeah. and, and and really like she gave her life to it. She yeah. she really put her life into this case, as Dang. far as I can see, which is watching the movie. I mean, sure. But I I, I want to go a step further and actually like read it and like absolutely. You know what I mean? It, yeah. I'm, I'm United States intrigued. history. Now I'm about to go down this rabbit hole. Y'all gonna have me on YouTube all night tonight looking up stuff. <laughs> okay, mad. <laughs> I'm just saying. And so. then they had other cases too, so it ain't no telling yeah. what Aaron did. But that man, kudos to Aaron Brockovich and 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 big ups to uh to Ross too for suggesting this movie for us to jump into. Absolutely. Yeah, so y'all tap good. in if y'all enjoyed this. Give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification yeah, bell man. so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Hey, if beauty, beauty queen school, they ain't teach you how to apologize because you suck at it. <laughs>